Okay, so adding how to schema and FAQ schema and really any any schema, any schema that you like, any schema that Rank Math has, because other schemas exist. There are plenty of other schemas on schema.org if you wish to go and check those out. But we're focusing on the most popular ones. These are the two I use pretty much all the time in most of my posts are FAQ schema, which I hope you're using too, and how to schema. The thing about the how to schema is if you've already created your post and they're not necessarily in the step one, step two, step three, then you might not want to go and add how to schema because you now need to put them into the schema, which means it's going to take a lot of time. You're either going to need to pass the job to your virtual assistant if you've got one, or you're going to need to sit down and do all of that. So reformat your entire blog post to fit into this how-to schema, which is what I've done on a last blog post. I might be doing this wrong. I might just need to add the HTML into the, um, the, the document um, because it would just be hidden. It would just show up on the page. But I do, I think that the how-to schema works best because it tells Google what it, each of the elements are. So the step one, the step two, the how-to schema has that data embedded in it. So there's no guessing. Google can see what's what, the time it takes, the equipment needed, all of that stuff if, if that's how your post is set up. So I've had to go back and do that. I've done that on a few of my posts um, and I've now recorded the process and I can give that to my virtual assistant to go through and find all of the how-to type posts, all the posts that have how-to in the title and she can go in and do all of that, which is a huge weight off for me. The FAQ schema is a lot easier. You just add your questions and your answers at the bottom of your page and you have the option to add attach an image to it which i highly recommend even if it's just a basic like a question mark or the the objects or whatever it is if you could add that into your faq schema it just goes along with it so we are going to first do the how-to schema so i'm going to think of something and then jasper's going to help me out with the information so and i'm going to go straight in with the forward slash and the how Two. So again, if you've got if you've got Rank Math installed, I actually have two. So I've got How To by Rank Math, and I've got How To because I have Spectra installed. So if you don't have Rank Math, Spectra is really good. It it was previously Ultimate Gutenberg Blocks or something like that. They renamed it, but it's still got all of the additional things. Like um, I use it for table contents. It's got a ton of things. So yeah, maybe you want to get Spectra, but I love Rank Math. It has so many other things going for it. So I'm going to use the how to by Rank Math. And this is what it shows up as. So on the front end, it just helps you. Let me make myself smaller. I don't even need to be here, but I'm going to put myself here. It, it makes it easy for you. So the final image is what you would put. I think actually on the last one, I used a different one. Let me get the other one up as well. Okay, yeah, I think I used this one last time. Yeah. Okay, either way. So this one's a bit different. You, it, it gives you the instructions in it. So you would put the title here and uh, you could reiterate the page title and could change it up a bit. You'd say, in the, these are step-by-step, -step, blah, blah, blah. Total time needed. And on this side is where you edit the actual information. Um, so total time needed you edit this in, you edit all of that, God, I'm in the way, you edit all of that here. So it might take you five years, five years to change the light bulb and two months and four days and five hours and 30 minutes. So you, so, so in the back end, all of this is, is, is hard coded into the, um, the schema if that makes sense. The total cost is again something that you edit on the back end. So it's not just text on the page, it's, it's, it's put in all of this, this code stuff that Google can understand. I think it's JSON. Don't quote me on that. I, I am, this is all so brand new to me, but um, okay, number of tools needed. 
But as you can see, it's not as simple as just writing how to step one, step two, step three, um, which is what your page probably looks like if you've not embedded schema. So um, yeah, so you do want to go in once you've added the tools, you, you just change them here. So most things can be added here and moved around here. And, and then you go and put your steps in and you can remove any steps that you don't need. Um, and you can add steps. So I think somewhere in the middle, you can add steps. You can add an info box or add a step, name the step. And now this is the rank math one. It's a lot less complicated. It looks like, okay, main image. Ooh. It look, It's a lot less complicated. Maybe you don't need to put in all that time stuff. But on the other one, it does say that some of these things are better for, um, for your how-to schema. It says, it says, basically it says you don't need to add this, but it's recommended. So time is is a recommended field for schema and it should be on and also the cost uh, is recommended and it should be on so even if the thing doesn't cost anything what I like to do is just put zero so it it, it has something there um, rather than just turn it off altogether you could turn it off and it looks neater but I'd rather have it if Google prefers it I would rather have it I would rather have it there um tools number of tools it says this is recommended so for tools i might just say like it says you need a computer and the internet connection and then leave it as that so for this one it's a bit different you can turn on duration put it all in on the front end enter a main description enter the final image so what they'll get at the end of it which is which in this case would be a light bulb screwed in and the step by step would be you'd have you'd, you'd write first you need to go to the shop and then get your light bulb and make sure it's the right one. Is it a twist one? Is it a other one? <laughs> and then you'd add the image, like a wiki power image or something. And you just make it fun and interesting. But that's it. It's, it's, that's, it's that simple. Once you've saved it, you shouldn't have to worry about, did you get the schema right? Did you do this right? Because it's done everything on its end. It says, easily add schema, SEO friendly, blah, 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 done. And FAQ is very similar to this. So let me delete these. And again, we're just going to forward slash FAQ. And I'm sure there are two. Yeah. So we've got the one from Spectra. We'll grab, grab that one up. And it's just simple. What is FAQ? I mean, I don't need to edit it. It says that. And then when you click here, you can, or oh, you click on the bottom, you can add another FAQ. You can add as many as you need to. So that's the Spectra one and Rank Maths one. Looks like this. And you can add an image there. You can hide it if you've, if you've um, added a bunch of people also ask questions and you've not got around to it. You might want to just hide it. Um, but what I like to do, because these are H3s, I think you can change it. You can do, you can do numbered, unordered, title wrapper yeah so those are h3 so what i like to do is i'll put faqs or like like how to change a light bulb faqs or faqs for changing a a light bulb and then i will make that a h2 so before google had an issue because i had a bunch of like i just said i had like a, a, a h2 title that had that it had the phrase FAQs in it, but then I had this block, this schema block sitting, and I hadn't answered the question. So I had some people also ask questions in, and there were no answers there. And Google could read this. It could it could read that there was FAQ schema on the page, but there was no information there. So it popped up in my Google search console, and I had to go and check those pages out, which I did. So like I said, I've got the uh, H2 to introduce the schema block, and then here is just where all the code is. It's all in here. So all the, the people also ask questions that you put in, put them in here, answer it in a couple lines, add a new FAQ, add your image, save it, and that's done. So it's that simple. It's that simple. So please, if you have FAQs on your blog, just go in, use the free rank math tool or use Spectra. Both of those tools are free. 
go in, add some FAQs. The how-to one is completely up to you. I know the FAQ matters, how-to, I'm not sure. I've got a bunch of how-to posts, so I thought it can only, it can't hurt if Google's saying it's something that they like. It can't hurt to add it, so that's what I've done.